Shalom. I would like to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakradash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you, sister Akiam, pushing this word out across the four corners of the world. In this lesson through the spirit, just to highlight this guy, Quanath, from the Israelite camp, Fopi, F O P E, which is for our people's edification. And once you go into the word edification, it derives from edify, which means to instruct or encourage someone like morally, intellectually, and spiritually for improvement. And with this particular camp's congregation, Fopi, yes, they might know that they are Israelites, but due to the false dogma that their so-called teachers of Fopi are propagating to their congregation, it's like they spiritually putting their congregation back into the dirt and becoming those dry bones all over again. Even though they might know that they're Israelites, but they're still lost to the souls. And that's why I stated within the book of Psalm, the 55th chapter, about bloody and deceitful men should not live out half their days. And that's because if you're in that leadership role as an Israelite teacher or preacher, through the spirit, you're supposed to rightly divide the word of truth. Like not misinterpret the words of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah and try to establish your own righteousness. Like coming up with these false doctrines and ideologies that's totally adversal to the true way of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. So this guy Kornath of Fopi, he commented on Elder Apostle Tahar's video and to further prove with a class instructing that the so-called white people or the so-called Caucasians are not so-called black people. And like Elder Apostle Tahar stated through the spirit, like no one teaches that doctrine. And just to put it out there again, the so-called white people are more so the so-called Caucasians that they call themselves in today's time. And if their lineage on their father's side do line up to a so-called Caucasian, then they are indeed the biblical Edomites. And yes, due to the curses via the scattering or the diaspora or the diaspora, our people will scatter amongst the four corners of the world. So therefore, you're going to have a lot of our people look like these other nations where they dwell in. But at the end of the day, it's all according to the spirit. As it stated within Romans, the eighth chapter, how the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And a main telltale sign or indicator who are the biblical Israelites in today's time are those divine curses that the heavenly father Yahweh place upon our people due to our disobedience. But this Israelite camp, Fopi, are literally pushing out that the Edomites are so-called black people. Like these guys really are bugged out. And that takes me right to Wisdom of Solomon 8 verse 8. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things are old and conjecture it aright what is to come. And the word conjecture goes into like to speculate or to theorize. And notice it stated right here, it conjecture it aright what is to come, which are the end time prophecies. So that's by spiritually discerning the times that we are in. As it stated within 2 Ezra, the ninth chapter, about measuring the times diligently in itself. So you see what's going on with your current news or current events, and you filter it out with the Holy Scriptures. And that's given by that spiritual ourself, which is the gift of the Holy Spirit. So she knew that things are old and conjecture it aright what is to come. She knew the subtilities of speeches. And as soon as this guy, Kornath of Fopi, and along with his clan, start spearing out this doctrine about that the Edomites are so-called black people, you saw through the spirit, different brothers of GMS, beginning with the head apostles on down, started getting on this matter concerning this false doctrine. And that's due to that wisdom which is associated with that breath of life. So through this wisdom, we know it the subtilities of speeches. So therefore, we know when someone is going off according to the scriptures. And we can be able to correct them through the spirit within the rightful way. So she know it the subtilities of speeches and can expound dark sentences, which is really getting that true and deep understanding of the scriptures. She foresee it signs and wonders in the events of seasons and times, which is why Yahweh Shah cut those carnal Jews within the book of Matthew, the 16th chapter, the third verse about ye hypocrites, 
which are nothing but actors that you can be able to discern the face of the sky, but you cannot be able to spiritually discern the signs of thy times. And that's because by looking forward to the prophecies, that means that you are associated with the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. And here we are in this late of the game via prophecy. You have Jake who claimed that they are Israelites and need a breakdown of who the biblical Edomites really are. And when the scriptures clearly tell you within 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, how Esau is the end of the world. So that means that the earth will be given unto the hand of the wicked and how this particular race or group of people will be sitting in that power seat of rulership within these last of the last days. So again, here we are within the last seconds of the last days. You have Jake coming out to the forefront, want you to break down who are the biblical Edomites. In the midst of all these end time prophecies coming to fruition. And where you had this entity, BlackRock, which they are considered as the world's largest asset manager, came out to the forefront and stated how the Western economies of the world are undergoing a fundamental transformation. And they are prophesying on the left hand side that very soon it's about to be an international shift within the monetary system. And this is going to be a global transformation, which is leading into their digital NWO. But here it is. You have Jake playing around with the scriptures and want a full breakdown who are the biblical Edomites. And that takes me right to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, the third verse within the NLT. If the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil, and that good news represents the true gospel of Yahweh Shai, which is also associated by rightly dividing the word of truth. So if the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil and a part of that good news or the gospel is that the so-called Caucasians are indeed the biblical Edomites. And yes, due to the scattering of our people via the curses pursuant to Deuteronomy 28 and 64, you're going to have a lot of our people look like these other nations and vice versa. You're going to have these heathen nations look like Israelites. But it's all according to the spirit on your father's lineage. So, yes, you're going to have so-called black looking people, but their lineage on their father's side might go back to an Edomite. But for them to say that the biblical Edomites are so-called black people. Like these guys really are lost in the sauce. And that's why I stated right here, it is hidden only from people who are perishing. And they are perishing because they let that spring of water into everlasting life. So through this valley of the shadow of death, AKA America, they are spiritually dehydrated and they do not have those spiritual nutrients within their body. So really they are spiritually dead. And that takes me to Proverbs 21, verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So they are dead spiritually. And really all over again, with that falsehood of a so-called doctrine that they are spearing out, they represent those dead bodies that was found in the street, aka America, Babylon the Great, when you read Revelation 11 chapter. So the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And like how Elder Apostle Gabar stated beautifully through the spirit by Kornath of Fopi to be reaching out to Elder Apostle Tahar on his video and try to entice him by a simple breakdown of who are the biblical Edomites. This is likened to that parable mentioned in Matthew the 25th chapter about the 10 virgins. Five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. So, of course, within this case, Kornath and Fopi represent the foolish and how they did not have that oil, which represents the true knowledge, wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So, therefore, they are spiritually lacking concerning the true understanding of this breakdown. And now they are behooved to go unto the wise. In this case, Elder Apostle Tahar. And that takes me right to Isaiah 24, verse 10. The city of confusion is broken down. And that's referencing to America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. And you can see through the spirit these dark, apocalyptic type of times that we are coming into. 
And the more these people are wax in gross darkness, then the more they're going to seek for the ones who are truly walking into their illuminated light. So with this prophecy right here, they are going to be crying for wine in the streets. And the wine is synonymous to the true spiritual understanding of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Hence, Matthew the 25th chapter of the oil. So it's all symbolic talk for the true understanding of Yahweh Shai because he comes within the volume of the book. So there's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The birth of the land is gone. And while I was watching Elder Apostle Tahar's video concerning Kornath of Fopi, and also Elder Apostle Gabar's video, I just kept thinking through the spirit, like, we are this late within the game. Again, via prophecy, you have Jake coming out to the forefront and want you to break down this simple topic. In the midst of all these end time prophecies, with the so-called powers that be, that steal from the household of Esau Edom and propagating their agenda via revelation of the method of what they really have planned for the whole world. And especially for you Israelites, because as it stated within Genesis, after our forefather Isaac passed unto the spiritual realm, how Esau stated how the days of my father of mourning are in here. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. So Jacob's ass backwards concerning these doctrines, and especially within this day of time concerning end time biblical prophecies. And that takes me right to Jeremiah 6 verse 30. Reprobate silver shall men call them. And the word reprobate goes into like voiding of judgment. Like not having no type of spiritual discernment to really see the signs of our times. Like paying attention to what's going on within current events and filtering out by rightly dividing the word of truth and to understand the signs of our times. So if they are not with that type of vibration, they are considered as reprobate silver. And that's because the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah have rejected them. So they are nothing but spiritual rejects. That's within that category of the two thirds when you read Zechariah the 13th chapter. And how they're going to receive a harsh judgment for that. And to Kwanath and his clan, by you all knowing that you are Israelites, you took the so called courage to stand into that leadership role as a teacher or a so called prophet. And by you knowing better, According to the prophecy within the book of Luke, you're going to be beaten with many stripes. And that's because you knew better as a so-called teacher or a preacher or a prophet. So that was my take on that through the spirit. Hopefully you all stay edified. You all stay strong. Keep pushing forward. Shalom.